Now for the last part then, we know that our equation of the curve C is x equals 2 sine y and we've got to find the equation of the normal at the point P with coordinates root 2 pi upon 4. And to do that, we need to know the gradient of the normal. Well, already we found in the previous part that the gradient, that this is of the tangent dy by dx at P, was 1 over root 2. So, therefore, we should know that the perpendicular gradient is going to be the negative reciprocal of this. So, therefore, the perpendicular gradient, that would be the gradient of the normal. Let's just put that in. Gradient of normal is going to be, as I say, the negative reciprocal. That would be minus root 2 over 1, or just simply minus root 2. Now that we've got that, we've got to get the equation of the normal in the form y equals mx plus c. And what I would always use, even if they asked me to put it in the form y equals mx plus c, I would use this version of the equation of a straight line, which you should be familiar with. y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. I'd use this over y equals mx plus c purely because I know what x1 and y1 are, that's the points, um, the x coordinate and the y coordinate of p, so x1 is the root 2, y1 is the pi upon 4, and m the gradient is going to be minus root 2, so I don't have to stop off and try and work out what the constant in y equals mx plus c is, that constant c. So this is a much preferred version. So if I do that, we're just going to say, therefore, equation of the normal. Okay. And we'll just say at P is. And what is it? Well, using this form, it's going to be y minus y1, which is pi upon 4, equals m, the gradient, which is minus root 2, all multiplied by x minus x1, and x1 was the root 2. Now we need to put this now in the form y equals mx plus c. So what I'd want to do is expand the bracket and add pi upon 4 to both sides. So if we do that, we're going to have y equals, and we'll expand the bracket and we get minus root 2x. And minus root 2 times minus root 2 is going to be plus 2. And then we've got to add the pi upon 4 to both sides, so plus pi upon 4. So, essentially I've got it. I've got it in the form y equals mx, m being the minus 2, plus c. The c being this value here. Now you can leave it like that, or you could even just put it in brackets, and you've got your c value. Okay, well that gives us our equation of the normal and brings us to the end of this question.